Hi everyone, it's Raquel from Cali Scrapping Creations and I just wanted to share a, another mini book that I've completed that will be um, on my Etsy site today or tomorrow. Um, this book, it measures 8 by 8 which is the size of the um, cover and then the inside the chipboard it measures 7.5 by 7. So I did it pretty big because the paper collection was so pretty and I didn't want to do anything smaller because then some of the um, beautiful paper would be cut off. So, all right, so let's get started. Um, the front just has Wild Orchid Craft flowers and these two pinkish peaches ones. These were actually from my local scrapbook store. Um, you'll see there's bling on the front. Um, there's a quote and the quote says, if I had a flower for every time you made me smile, I'd be walking in an endless garden. So I thought that title was definitely like perfect for this book because it was the Paisley. I used the Paisley paper pack and then I used the Butterfly Garden from Bo Bunny and then I also used a couple other different papers just to kind of tie it all together. Um, and then I just used the two ring binding and then I just attached some little um, lace on the side. And then this opens with a little Velcro. And I thought that was cute because it looks like it's a button like you turn it. <laughs> so then it opens like that. And um, this is the first page. And I just attached this to the actual book. And this is this photo is actually big enough for like a 5x7 um, photo. So that's for that. And then I use the Wild Orchid Crafts right here. Oh, and this is glue. Wild Orchid Craft Flowers, and then here is some lace that I use there. On this side, as you can see, it's like simply gorgeous. It has like these flowers, Wild Orchid Craft, some fabric flowers here, and then it also has a big Prima flower here. This is lace, and this picture um, here can also be used for like a 5x7 or a 5x6 photo. All right, and on this side, um, it's just two pearl uh, strands like crossed. And then on the bottom, there's Wild Orchid Craft Flowers. The title says Butterfly Garden. Um, it's just some bling from Recollection and some more Wild Orchid Craft Flowers there. And look at this paper. It's just so beautiful. And then I just distressed the edges. Um, on this side, you'll see that there's lace with some pearl trim. This um, bird came from the Tattered Angels um, chipboard embellishment pack. And then this just says Dragonflies. Um, these flowers are from my local scrapbook store that I just had in my stash. Um, again, this photo would measure like 5x6 or 5x7. And I mean, I was just so impressed on this book. I mean, it's so like shabby chicish. Um, and I'm trying to kind of get off into that and it's more like a vintage soft look so I'm definitely trying to um, change my books up a bit make them more a little bit more appealing and more adult like um, on the side I use uh, this was actually a Prima Rose and then these were Wild Orchid Craft and then these were Memory Makers it was just resin um, roses and here's some trim and then there's a big photo mat there. Um, on this page, this butterfly is, this is like one of my favorite pages. This butterfly was actually in the Can Company like die cut stack that they have. Um, and I just backed it up on just some paper and then put some little pop dots and then added these for some um, added depth. And then here are three tags and these tags measure four by six and you can put photos on the front and you can also put photos on the back and on the back of this one I actually glimmer misted it um, with like two different types of glimmer mist and then I just inked the edges and then that just kind of tucks in there like that and then as you can see these are like some sequence beads coming all the way down and then this is another one of my favorite pages where I actually have the butterfly um, holding the tags in place. Um, so I thought that was cute. 
idea that I came with. Um, here are some four by six tags. And again, I um, sprayed them with Glimmer Mist. And you can journal or you can put photos and then they're also distressed along the edge. And then those just tuck in like that. Isn't that so cute? That, is, that to me is like so cute. Um, and here's some Wild Oka Craft flowers. These are Prima leaves. And then here's just some lace that I had. I mean, well, lace, I guess, ribbon. It was white. And then I inked it with lemongrass tattered angels. So it will kind of tie into everything. Um, and on this page, um, I had so I had so many ideas. I didn't know where to go. Um, but here's a like garden die cut. Um, from K and Company and then I just attached a little bit of sheer ribbon and then this is a paper bag and This one is just you know just has the row so it kind of ties it in so this could be used for a photo mat and then there are Additional photo mats in the inside. So you have one two three four photo mats and The look at this paper. It is just so beautiful now I've had this um, paisley paper for at least about six months I hadn't used it yet but uh, for this book I was just kind of in that shabby chic mood and so this is what I came up with and then that just fits back in there like so um, and then on this page it's just a lot of different things going on. I mean, I have the bling on the side. I have lace. I have some wild orchid craft flowers. I have some prima roses. And then this is actually a die cut um, from the chipboard, the Tattered Daniels chipboard. And then this right here says Nature Sanctuary. And then this, um, you can actually put a photo underneath here. You can journal right there. And there you go. Bring that up closer. And then on this page, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I just put a, a cluster of wild orchid car flowers, um, some prima leaves, and then this was also a die cut that was in the K and Company paper. And um, more wild orchid craft flowers here. There's some bling. And then I just love how it looks like this girl right here is looking down at this photo. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's some lace and some pearl. And then this page, um, I kind of like used so many ideas. I didn't know what to do on this one, but when I was done, I simply love this page. This is actually a um, journaling tag from Prima. I thought it tied into the collection, just absolutely beautiful. And then these are just tags that I um, cut out with my Tim Holtz tag punch. And you can actually put smaller photos on here, not like five by six or anything. This will probably be like maybe like a three by three or a three by six photo, but you would have to crop. Um, but I just thought those tags were so pretty. And this is what was left over from the paper. And I did not definitely want to throw them away. So I just took those in like so. And then here is some lace at the top. And then here's some pearl beads that graze the top and then this would be the last photo that looks photo this is the last page that looks just like the beginning and then I just put some wild orchid craft flowers here and some lace and then the back as you can see is just you know it's just pretty basic and I just distressed it and that would be my mini so if you definitely like it again it'll be on my Etsy site today um, leave me any comments below and once again you guys thanks so much for watching my channel I've gotten so many subscribers like within the last like two weeks. It's crazy But I just want to say thank you so much because I've had my YouTube site for at least about um, Almost a year and Within the last few months, I can definitely say I've gotten a lot of subscribers. So thank you all. I read your comments all the time. Any other comments you guys want to make, please don't hesitate to leave any or inbox me any messages or anything else, something else that you would like to see, any other questions um, regarding my books. Also, I have gotten a lot of different messages from um, my subscribers out there 
wanting me to do a tutorial. Um, I'm going to get to it. I haven't um, figured out how to do one yet, but I am going to get to a tutorial soon. So at least give me a couple more months. I'll get a tutorial on how I put, put, put my books together. But in the meantime, thank you so much and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Bye bye.